What's up everybody, I'm Dave and I'm a Fragrance Bro and welcome to New Perfume News. This is a new segment that showcases the latest news and fragrances that just came out in the last week. I really like this idea. If you like this idea, let me know and I'll continue doing it. Today is September 26th and we're gonna go over the last week in perfume news. Of course, I'm your host Dave. I'm not wearing any pants and that is a God honest truth. Let's get to niche news first. Fade on Paris has just released Ilanguara. It's a tropical cologne created by perfumer Gerard Bertrand. The name signifies two main ingredients of Ylang Ylang and Guara Almond from Spain. Tom Ford just released Oud Wood Intense, which is the latest intense version following Tobacco Oud Intense. It's a heavier, denser, bolder version that features additional notes of Angelica Root and Cypress. It also happens to be what I'm wearing today. <laughs> Imaginary Authors has just released a secret fragrance called Whispered Myths. The only way that you can find it is going on a secret link hidden within the website. And no, I don't have the link. The notes of Whispered Myths include Cambodian Oud, Cantaloupe, Cedar, Musdana, Honey, and Salvaged Shipwreck. Good luck finding it. Bond Number no. 9 just released Dubai Gold, which is the latest in their Dubai line and is their golden crown in the collection. Dubai Gold is inspired by the booming gold trade in the Gulf and it resonates with the deep and warm nuances that are associated with the luxury and beauty of this precious metal. French niche line Room 1015 has just released their newest unisex fragrance, Holly Rose. Holly Rose is a tribute to the teenage groupies that ruled Sunset Boulevard in the 70s. Holly Rose was developed by perfumer Jerome Epinette, and the main notes are rose, orchid, and leather. By Killian has just released a new duo of fragrances that celebrates their 10th anniversary, and it's called From Dusk Till Dawn. The two fragrances in the line are Woman in Gold and Gold Night. Woman in Gold was developed by perfumer Khalees Becker and is inspired by the 1907 portrait of Adele Block Bauer. The composition includes notes of bergamot, rose, patchouli, akigala wood, and vanilla absolute. Gold Knight was developed by perfumer Pascal Garan. It's inspired by Klimt's Golden Knight painting from 1903. It features notes of honey, anise, bergamot, vanilla, and patchouli. French niche line Parfums de Nicolai has released Patchouli Intense, a new woody oriental fragrance. The patchouli is surrounded by an oriental background trimmed with incense and spices. It also features notes of lavender and pelargonium. Patricia de Nicolai said this wood is a fabulous raw material. In accord, its role is similar to that of a viola in an orchestra, the instrument that leads all others. Not to be outdone, Parfums de Nicolai has also released another fragrance called Patchouli Sublime. It elevates patchouli and reveals its sumptuous side, both verdant and smooth. Patchouli Sublime's appeal is in how it unfolds, starting with its high altitude crisp opening. And they said that if they were to compare this to Patchouli Intense, they would be called cousins, one of earth and one of sky. Italian niche house Laboratorio Olfativo has just released Venera. Venera joins Neurotic and the Laboratorio in Nero collection. Venera is a dark vanilla fragrance where not just sweet notes are emphasized. Italian niche house Acqua di Parma has just released Note di Colonia 4. It's a new addition to their opera inspired collection, Note di Colonia. Note di Colonia 4 was inspired by the aria Donna Non Vidi Mai by Puccini. Notes include green mandarin, bergamot, rose, orange blossom, sweet myrrh, patchouli, and cystus labdanum. Dia Sindurga has just released Vio Volta, which is a fragrance that was made by just messing around with ingredients. Creator David Maltz has said that he was messing around with the a chemical that smelled like candy rhubarb, mix it with a really heavy, dense amber, and what came out was a spaceship-like violet. He also brought in cedary incense and patchouli to make it more natural and said, quote, it just had a very vibratory effect. Niche line Healy has collaborated with Maison Kitsune to bring about a fragrance called Note de Yuzu. Apparently it has the note of Yuzu. <laughs> Parfums de Marley has just released Leighton Exclusif for men, which is a flanker to their very popular fragrance Leighton, which was just released in 2016. Leighton Exclusif takes the original and adds deep animalic woods and resins for a darkly seductive experience. Indie House Smellbent has just released a new collection of fragrances called Body Language, which were inspired by pop icons of the 1980s. They include I Would Die For You, which is inspired by Prince, I Want Your Sex, which was inspired by George Michael, and Modern Love, which was inspired by David Bowie. Each are infused with pheromones to communicate perfume in a way that Smellbent has never tried before. I Would Die For You is described in a nutshell as pear jelly beans. I Want Your Sex is described in a nutshell as sweet rubber. 
And modern love in a nutshell is animalic amber. So that concludes all the niche news we have. Now let's go to designers. German fashion designer Michael Mikalski has just released a duo of fragrances for men and women called Mikalski Berlin 3. The composition of the women's offering is described as a powdery, fruity, floriental, and the men's offering is described as an elegant, woody sheepro with spicy and leather accents. Or so the Germans would have us believe. Valda Serini has just launched Ombre Oud, which is a flanker to their very successful masculine fragrance, Ombre. It's described as masculine, bitter, smoky, rough, but very elegant. And the composition is inspired by the color of whiskey. Mercedes-Benz has just released Mercedes-Benz Silver for Men, which is the flanker to their Mercedes-Benz for Men. The composition is woody with a delicate, sparkling freshness. Azaro has just released Azaro Pour Homme Edition Noir, which is their latest flanker to the classic 1978 fragrance Azaro Pour Homme. It's described as a fougere citrus woody fragrance. Dunhill has just released Icon Racing, which is a flanker to their 2014 release, Icon. This men's fragrance was created by perfumer Laurent de Guernet. Trish McAvoy has just released their newest women's fragrance called 100. It combines the floral heart of jasmine and rose with the creaminess of leather and tonka. It was created by perfumer Honorine Blanc. Australian botanical brand Aesop has just released Huel or Huel. It's a new unisex fragrance inspired by Japanese forests. It features notes of thyme, cypress, vetiver, and frankincense. Huel was developed by perfumer Barnabé Fillon. And that's all the news we have this week. I'd like to thank Fragrantica and Now Smell This for all the news that I got. Uh, they're great websites. You can go and check them out for further news. So what do you think about these releases? What piques your interest? Let me know down in the comments. And what do you think of this news segment? Let me know. I really want to do some more. And uh, if you really like it, I'll do some more. Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast Made Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.